Daisy getting ready to step inside the new Prince Street Gallery location on 27th Street. They have six new artists that they're showing in a summer collective. So here we are at 547 West 27th Street to check out the new Prince Street Gallery. Let's go look at it. <laughs> this is the new gallery for the Prince Street Gallery. Only the second show. This is Scott with Chair by Jesse Fisher. This piece. Moses Grant Stripe by artist Michael Walden. Sort of caught my fancy. A little bit, what am I seeing here? And how did you do this? Four gorgeous seascapes by Pearl Rosen Golden. These are under glass, so they're a little difficult to get a great photo of. However, they are beautifully executed. Really kind of smitten with this one. Want to get your toes in that water. Happy summer. Pearl Rosen Golden. This is my favorite of the abstractions by Mercy Bronker. This is composition number 30. I do admire the color choice, the tonality of this piece. I love the rhythm of these squares. Marcy Bronker. And this piece by Jesse Fisher, Valentine, Laying with Birds. I'm a fan of this size. This is a 36 inch by 36 inch square. Ink and oil on a gesso panel. Beautifully executed. I'm in love with this beautiful crusty background with pops of color. The figure, of course, the rhythm of that pose. But look at this beautiful fabric. Look at these beautiful birds. This has a nice spirit. Valentine Laying with Birds by Jesse Fisher. Again, Jesse Fisher, these are two pieces placed so closely together. You get the memento mori. Uh, Self-portrait with black shirt here, Jesse Fisher, 10 inches by 10 inches. That's ink and oil on gesso panel. And this piece, so close together, they're almost a piece in unison. It's a skull with stereo. Also, Jesse Fisher, of course. I appreciated this uh, placement in the gallery quite a bit. This uh, rather off-kilter photo of another Jesse Fisher piece, Nixing Bust with Mill Fleur. That blue, that cerulean is so striking. A bit of a Matisse thing with the background. Sort of terrifying and sort of inspiring. This one, I think, was my favorite piece in the entire show. This is by artist Michael Walden. The title of this piece is called Scene Change, which might not catch you in first glance. What caught me first was the emptiness of this room, but yet the color of the light coming through the windows. Um, quietness, solemn, but then, of course, you notice... There was a painting hanging over this fireplace. There's a story there. 
This is called Scene Change by Michael Walden. A Kimono for the White Rabbit by artist Margot Bittenbender. really excited to see some lithography in this show. Now I'm going to show you a few pieces by artist Scott Seabart. These pieces excited me so much. This one, I believe, is the one called Night of the Comet. Maybe I'm wrong. This is a series of these brilliant pieces that feel a little garden of earthly delights. There's a lot happening in these pieces. I'll try not to bore you, not that there's a possibility with these paintings, but I do want to show you some of the wonders in these pieces. Haunting, aren't they? It's a mystery. Orchid. Muscles and face, maybe? I don't know. Red onion, pumpkin, tomato, old lime, two eggs. Again, fantastic work by Scott Seabart. Very Bosch. Modern Bosch, should we say? Hmm, perhaps. <laughs> 